House with a Clock in Its Walls is a children's horror film directed by Eli Roth and it stars Jack Black and Kate Blanchett. It tells the story of Lewis, a young orphaned boy who goes to live with his uncle Jonathan in a very quirky house that has a lot of clocks in it, including a secret one inside its walls. And after Lewis finds out that his uncle is a warlock together, they must combine forces and stop the end of the world. Now I was semi excited for this film because it looked really good and that is one of the best aspects of this film. Being in association with Amblin, this film has immensely great visuals. The cinematography and the set design are incredible and the visual effects as well. There are a lot of things that they do in this film you can tell they're comfortable and confident in doing it because they had Hamblin behind it. And Jack Black is really good. He really thrives in these types of films having fun but also having some heart to it. The relationship between him and the boy Lewis is one of the best aspects of the film and I can remember perfectly one scene where he sits down at the foot of the bed talking to the kid and it really pulls in your heart heartstrings and that is what I wanted to see more in this film. Yes it has great visuals, yes it has great special effects, the fantasy part of this film works fine enough but it's the contact with anything real and the real human emotions that I found very lacking. Kate Blanchett is also fantastic, she can make anything work and she does. She's the one who really brings the house down when she wants to. Any scene that she is in, she dominates that scene and there's some tragic backstory to her that I also wanted to see a little bit more explored. Again, the same thing with Jack Black. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything, but the same again goes for the villain of this film. Well, I had no idea this actor was in this film, so I'm not going to say who it is. But, when it comes to the motivation behind him, not only is this actually compelling and you wish you saw more of it throughout the film until it gets revealed on the third act, you also feel like it's kind of heavy for a children's film. The stuff they talk about when it comes to this film just feels very jarring in terms of tones and it feels like it doesn't belong in the same film. Honestly, some of the things you see in this and some of the things that they explored as far as what are the inner workings of the magic and the powers in this film, it would work so well as a children's fantasy series. It wouldn't need to be something big, it just wouldn't need to be a series of like 10 episodes or 12 like a Netflix show. But there's so much to explore here that they actually don't, you can only see what could have been, you can see the potential this had to be. And let's talk about Eli Roth, a man who is known for directing horror, but actual horror, not children's horror. He actually has a very good helm in this. He can only direct the script he is given, and the script he is given, he does bring it to life with all its flaws and whatnot. The script is very uneven. This film drags a lot and this film is one hour and 44 minutes it's about 15 minutes longer than it would need to be but again there's so much to unpack so much to explore in this film with the kid with the uncle with Kate Blanchett playing his friend with the villain there's so much in here and there's so much mythology you just wish you could see more at the same time as a movie they just don't make it work they just don't get to it fast enough also honestly the clocks in this film the constant ticking in this film really makes you feel the pacing and that's one of the things that hurts the film the most. This film is fun, it's charming and it's enjoyable and honestly again being directed by Eli Roth this is one of the creepiest things I've ever seen in a long time. It comes near the end, it involves Jack Black, those who've seen it you know what I'm talking about, creepiest thing I've seen. The house with the clock in its wall doesn't reach its full potential but honestly I would say this is Goosebumps done better. It reaches a level that Goosebumps from 2015 did not in my opinion. There are some good things in here that I could see getting better with the sequel but honestly I just wish I could have seen more right here. I'm going to say that whether you watch the house with the clock in its walls or not, your heart will go on. Now what did you guys think of this film? Have you seen it? Have you not? Do you want to see it? And what is your favorite Jack Black or Kate Blanchett film. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you read the books because there's so much potential in this. I might just read the books to see if it fulfills it. Thank you so much for watching guys. You are the best. I'm going to see Peppermint and A Little Stranger this weekend and I'll have reviews for you. I want to thank you again so much for watching. You guys are the best and so until the next review, you stay beautiful, you stay geeky and if you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button, click the bell and we can be geeky. United!